All right, so first up, we're going to test out this 100 watt LED. I'm only going to probably drive it to 60 watts with this supply because it can only get to 30 volts maximum on the output. Um, so yeah, this this is nice. This particular test is you can see how crappily the LED parts are made. So you'll actually see here in a moment that some LEDs will light up before others do, and those will probably be the ones that die first because they're going to be putting out higher power than the rest of them. Although if the thermal conductivity, i.e. the heat sink, is good, shouldn't be too bad. All right, so I'm just going to increase the voltage to probably about 22, and you're going to start to see the um, the LED will start to light up. So there it is. So now you can see some LEDs are quite well lit, others are not. And as we go brighter still, we're going to see it start to put out you know, a stupid amount of brightness. And you can hear the... So now we've got uh, our limit. So the current is set to zero, and we're still getting 72 milliamps of shoot through, even though both of our current potentiometers, the fine adjustment and the coarse adjustment, are set to zero. Alright, so next up we've got a nice little uh, air compressor, uh, a posed piston, and this one actually has wrist pins. So for $10 from, uh, from Canadian, what is it, Canadian Junk Store. There we go. So it's my favorite thing to do, which is finding the absolute minimum power I can put in before it'll start. So I'm drawing 1.1 amps at 1 volts just to get this motor to start to turn. And I'm just going to go up to pretty high speed just to see how much current we can draw. So yeah, drawing about 5 amps at 12 volts with under no load. So as I put pressure on there, it will reach this supply's maximum uh, output. Also wanted to note, um, yeah, the fan starts up with current draw. So as I draw more current, it'll turn on the fan and, and continue cooling itself as it, uh, as it goes. Ain't that just great? Yeah, not feeling too well. Anyway, I uh, hope this uh, video helped out whether or not you want to get the supply, if it's right for you. It's only, it's not very powerful. I, I mean, it should be able to do 30 times 5 worth of watts DC, so yeah, 30 times 5. Yeah, 150 watts, so that's if you have a load that's 30 volts and consumes um, 30 watts. So if you have like a bunch of, like a couple of these LEDs, you could get this thing to its 150 watt rating. But again, it will cap out at 5 amps at b between 0 and 30 volts, or cap out at 30 volts and things. So that was the point of these two loads, so you can see both the voltage and current getting maxed out uh, at their respective uh, currents and voltages for what their loads were. So this is a uh, high current load, is high, the LED was a high uh, voltage load. So yeah. So to conclude my review, I really like this supply. It's going to come in handy for all kinds of projects just to be able to clip on and go and see if it works and not worry about frying the supply, at least so far.